In fact, a new study on sleep in JAMA Network Open shows those who eat well. I like carrots. I do like spinach, baby spinach. But sleep six hours a night or less have a higher risk of developing type 2 diabetes. A lot of the hormones uh, that are regulated probably during our sleep cycle, that when in the absence of that sleep cycle, or at least duration of sleep, we believe it impairs uh, probably your glucose metabolism and ultimately could predispose you to type 2 diabetes. Dr. Bradley Jackson says, just like your doctor asks you about other healthy habits when you have a wellness checkup each year, such as exercise. One of the things that should be an important question, uh, particularly for providers out there with regards to looking at an individual's history is looking at their sleep cycles, looking at how much sleep they're getting. We don't always place an importance on that. So why does sleep matter? Even despite a normal diet and exercise, the sleep cycle is so important in regulating our metabolism. And that metabolism, according to a second study just released this week in the journal Hypertension, shows also appears to respond not just to how much we sleep, but whether or not we get regular sleep hours. Researchers found people who sleep in on the weekends or who vary times that they go to bed and get up during the week are far more likely to have high blood pressure than those who have consistent time in bed. So based on these studies and several others, sleep recommendations from the American Heart Association are now seven to nine hours a night, and you need to keep those hours as consistent as possible. Now, if you do notice that you're chronically just not able to sleep, tell your doctor they can refer you to a sleep specialist. You can always get local stories right here on YouTube, but go ahead and hit that subscribe button to get notifications to stay in the know.